Hello, all! It is I, the Beast, and I am back with yet another installment of Beastly Reviews. And this is not just any installment, no, it's not. This is a surprise installment of Beastly Reviews. Now, I can see that the quizzical looks again are in your eyes, and I can always notice them. You're asking yourself, Oh, why, Beast? What is this a surprise episode of Beastly Reviews? I'll tell you why. Because, you see, I was not expecting to receive this package until next week. But I was pleasantly surprised to receive them today, so no time like the present for another episode of Beastly Reviews and another episode of Beastly Unboxings. And what does that mean, you ask? I'm glad you asked, because that means it's time for AEW Unrivaled Series 3! That's right. And the figures that we are going to be unboxing today in one video, not three, are... The Bastard Pack, one of my favorites, Darby Allen, and my little dog pockets himself as per Jim Cornette, Orange Cassidy. That is right, three figures, three unboxings in one stellar episode of Beastly Reviews. But let's get this show on the road, shall we? Certainly, all right. Tools of the trade, yes, you know, you know, you know. Right, right, okay. At first glance, I must say that uh, the body on this figure is fantastic. Uh, he comes with a chair, as you can see. The body looks really good, but the head is not so fantastic from what I can tell yet. But let's just be the judge once it's out of the box. There we go. Ah, yeah. They don't make this easy on me. I'm going to have a strongly worded letter ready for uh, jazz wear in short order. Anyway, there we go. Okay, as you can see, Puck the Bastard comes with not one, but two heads. And where is it? A chair. Pretty good quality chair. Definitely uh, very similar to the chair that was reviewed, I believe it was yesterday. The Undisputed Era chair. Now, uh, looking right at this, I can see exactly what they're going for with regard to the likeness here. But they're absolutely missing the mark. I mean, like, the body itself is ripped very much like himself. St struff, uh, strong back, muscles, musculature. The outfit's really good. I like the kick pads and leaf pads are really well done. Everything feels good. Good articulation. Much less of the bone crunching sound though, so that's that's appearing to be on the way out perhaps. I guess maybe it's just this figure doesn't have it, but uh-oh. Alright, now that that's all sorted, as you can see it's back in one piece. Lucky lucky. Uh, the face. This does not really look like Pack. This looks more like, uh, I don't know, some sort of a Neanderthal of uh, some type. I can't even really tell. This just isn't very very much a, a head for the bastard Pack himself. Pack himself. Uh, and I like the figure overall, but uh, it loses many, many points from for the facial. And uh, the uh, the second head is, is even worse. I don't know what the hell this is. Like, I don't know why the hair is so short in the front. It should probably be about the same. Uh, the man himself has the undercut. You can kind of see it here, but not very well. Figure itself. I have to give it like a 7 out of 10 because the head is, is pretty bad, I would say. But the rest of the figure is absolutely fantastic. Moving on. Next stop, the Orange Cassidy train. Alright. As you can see... This comes with cloth goods. As you can see, he's got a jacket and a t-shirt. And uh, bonus hands. As you see, he likes to put his hands in his pocket like so. But I, I do love how this is, uh, this is represented in figure form here. This is looking like a very nice, uh, very nice sort of feature to be having on this. And actually, I've got to applaud them for their creativity and being able to pull this off. Now, if only I could open this bastard. There we go. There's no extra bonus points for neatness here. Alright, so, 
Oh, he comes with sunglasses as well, which uh, I need to watch out for because I do not want them falling off. Oh, okay, good, all right. More props because they have a little bit of a plastic, uh-oh, now they're gone forever. Okay, crisis averted. The glasses are now firmly back where they belong. Anyway, moving along, uh, as you can see, he's got the jacket, uh, the denim sort of jacket, denim pant deal right here. The jacket is a one piece with the shirt, which is basically the shirt that he wears, so you don't have to fuss about taking off all the clothes if you really want to, if you're kinky like that, which I'm not. Yeah, sure you're not. And uh, you can just, you know, it's a one piece, so it's a good deal. As you can see, the hands, I, I, as I stated, they come with uh, uh, spare hands. This hand signifies the pockets pose, which, uh, as you can see right there, there's a bit of a rubber dealy here in the uh, in the pantaloons, so you can firmly place his hand in his pocket like so. Isn't that impressive? I believe so. And then his other hand here, of course, there's a there's a right hand corresponding for the pocket as well. But right here, one of the most important aspects of the the Cassidy character is the very cavalier sort of thumbs up. I know you can't really tell, but it's sort of like, he's too cool for school. So as you can tell by the outfit, of course, in the very 80s denim, I am an 80s beast, so I think he is a fashion plate, but he's also, thumbs up. That's how much thumbs up, that's how, much, that's how many Fs he gives. As far as the rest of the figure's concerned, uh, the pantaloons, we discussed the rubber bits on the pantaloons, and of course the jeans. This is a new mold right here, as far as the, the pants are concerned, you've got the, sort of um, sort of cuffed ankles, very, very sexy 1985 look, and a brand new sneaker mold as well. So they've done quite a bit of work on this figure. The head itself, it's, it's actually quite good. It's quite good. This is a, this is a solid 9 out of 10 right here. Uh, possibly even a 10 out of 10. This, this figure, they definitely, uh, they definitely nailed this particular figure. And uh, props to the hands and, and an awesome job on the pantaloons as well, the rubber pantaloons. Very well done. Alright, finally, last figure in the, in the series is Darby Allen, The skateboarding bastard. And current TNT champion. Although he does not come with the belt because that has not yet been released. Hopefully that will be released. Hopefully two versions of the TNT title with uh, Mr. Bro Mr. Brody Lee figure, R.I.P. All right, so, um, all right, moving along. As you can see, he actually comes with his skateboard, which now let's see if it actually has moving wheels, which is going to be the real clincher on whether or not... Oh, the wheels turn, the wheels turn. So he can just kind of scroll in here like the silver skater that he is. Uh, as far as the head is concerned, very good likeness on the uh, half skull face paint look and the hair is exquisite. You can see the uh, the tattoo on the chest right there, which states that uh, nothing, nothing's over till you're, nothing's over till you're underground. Okay, very good words to live by. We should all, we should all focus on that. Uh, jacket itself, very, very excellent rubber design, very different from, um, and this is much more than I can say about the Shawn Michael figure that I showed you the other day with that whole deal, but there's a molded on hoodie. Uh, this is very well done, excellent design, sort of spray paintish, sort of very punkish kind of look. Very intriguing and very, very stylish. As for the arms, he does not have the broken arm tattoo, but I don't believe that he had that at the time that this was actually uh, in, in uh, conception. As far as the legs are concerned, nice little thin legs like he, like he himself has. Uh, sort of jean short look above leggings of uh, extremely, extremely uh, tight jeans and Doc Martin boots. Look at that. It's got the little lip on the back and everything and excellent design detail right there. It's got the, the whole dealy around it. These are, these are fantastic. Well, very well done on this figure right here. Another solid, not, this is a 10 out of 10 right here, I've got to give it to him. This Jazzwares really knocked this one out of the park. But if you think that this video was knocked out of the park, please like, subscribe, Beastly Reviews Instagram, Beastly Reviews Twitter. Beastly Reviews YouTube is the home of these videos, and of course, uh, IGTV is another place where you can find them. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later. Hi!